Come, baby. Enjoy this great game. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the Hum Baby Baseball Channel. This is Eric. It's been a few days. I'm pissed off. During the MLB draft, Rob Manfred said point blank that there will unequivocally, okay, 100% be Major League Baseball this year. You're going to come out and say something like that? Even when he said it, I'm thinking, oh, man, okay, I'm going to hold you to that. Not two days later, he's coming out, oh, Maybe there won't be baseball this year. I can't say 100%. You just said 100%. Do you not know 100%? Do you not know what that means? Do you not know math? 100% can't change. Once it's 100%, that's it. It's happening. Or you're full of <laughs> And now he's acting like it's not happening. And a lot of players are coming out and saying, no, this is just a stall tactic because they're trying to stall because they want as few games as possible. Reports say there is at least six owners who don't want a season at all. Because a lot of these owners don't care about baseball. They just care about money. So they bought a baseball team because they thought they could make a bunch of money. And now they don't want baseball. At least they don't want a regular season baseball because they're going to lose money or they won't make as much as they will in the playoffs. So they're just trying to get the shortest season possible because they really don't care about actual baseball, actual stats, an actual season for the fans. There's more than 50 games. I mean, a 50-game season. The lead leaguer in home runs is going to have like nine homers. The Giants' best power hitter probably hits four. So the owners are trying to delay. They don't want, some of them don't even want a season, which is rough because Rob Manfred has to have at least 75% of owners agree to have a season in order to implement, implement his stupid 50 game season plan or whatever it's going to be, maybe 55, 56, or maybe even 60, like Trevor Bauer saying he's going to try to, to get a little more than, you know, 50 or 40 to make it not obvious. But yeah, they want as minimum games as possible possible and you know let me let me say this i mean obviously i'd rather have a 50 game season than no games but this is absolutely absurd what we're going through and i really got i'm really i'm really angry about manfred and you know rob manfred who 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 likes rob manfred who wants this guy as commissioner it's interesting that every big position you know you have detractors and you have supporters i don't care who it is it seems like there's always both you know whether it's the president you know some people love him some people hate him whether it's the manager of your baseball team some people love him gabe Kapler. some people are like hey man these guys cool give him a chance some people are like this guy's awful what the hell you got always you got supporters and detractors when you have important people in important positions except rob manfred who's supporting this guy who likes rob manfred and his ridiculous idiotic rules that change the game of baseball and like in a bad way and now here he comes out unequivocally there's going to be baseball this year getting fans hopes up just two days later to act like well that's not 100 percent. i can't say that you just did say that players are ready to go they're saying where and when sure the players could have taken one of these deals that they got offered but they are not trying to back off they want that full prorated salary they've already agreed to that in the first agreement Although, yes, there's some debate over whether, you know, they're doing it in good faith or they're renegotiating in good faith now that they know there's no fans or is the Major League Baseball not negotiating in good faith? I don't know who's to blame. I don't care. Get it together. You guys need to get it together, okay? People are out of jobs right now. People have no money. You know, we're struggling right now. We want just some baseball. We're fans. We pay you guys. We pay you. We pay the owners. The owners pay you. That's how this works. And if we don't care, and if you piss the fans off, this is the money comes from us. We're the source of the money. We get our money from who, you don't know where we get our money. All you know is we give you the money to the owners, and the owners give that money to the players. You guys are rich because of us. You need to figure it out. Most people are siding with the players. If I had to choose a side, I would side with the players because there was an agreement made. The owners are rich. They're going to continue to be rich. They're absolute billionaires. And this is the best long-term decision to get baseball going, even if you have to take a short-term hit. That's business. I run businesses. Short-term hits. You got to take hits. You don't always make money on every single little deal. Sometimes you got to struggle a little bit for long-term success. Billionaires should know that. But apparently these ones don't. Probably because they don't care about baseball. And Rob Manfred doing no favors to anybody by saying what he said and then flip-flopping a couple days later. It does make it look like it's a stall tactic. They want to implement that 50-game season, and they're fooling no one, in part because we're getting more. We have, we're in touch more with the players who are on Twitter and actually being very outspoken during this whole thing. Whether they should be or not is debatable, but at least we're getting knowledge of what's going on behind the scenes. A little bit of knowledge. We still don't know everything. But what we do know is the players want that full prorated salary because they've agreed upon it. They're not going to back down from 
from that. The owners do not want to give it to them, and the owners do not want to play regular season games. They're trying to delay it as long as possible to implement some short crap season. They want a long postseason. Of course they want a long postseason because that's where they make their money with TV deals and stuff, and the players don't get paid during postseason, to my knowledge. So, of course, they don't want a freaking long regular season. They want a long postseason. The regular season is what's long. The postseason is shorter. That's how it's supposed to be. You're not supposed to have some huge postseason, but it should not be all about money. It should be doing what's best for baseball, what's best for the fans. Get it together. Get a deal done and get out a schedule. Get out a 114-game schedule. You got plenty of time. We could have had practically a full season. Yeah, it wasn't going to be 162, but it could have been something decent somewhere where, you know, in the future when you look back on 2020, you don't look back and, and put asterisks and say, oh, there was only 50 games that year. It really wasn't a normal season. We don't look back at the, the 95 season and think anything less of that season because the Braves won the World Series that year. They're true champions, and it was a 144-game season, I believe. So they had a full season. Yeah, it won 162, but they had a big enough season where it's recognized as a full Major League season. 50 games? I'll take it if I have to, but... That's bullshit because you guys have time to figure it out. Get it figured out. Players are saying when and where. Tell them when and where. Do it. Make the schedule. Lose a little bit of money short term. You're going to be thankful for it later. I don't even know. You've already messed it up. You're already done effed it up. But maybe you have time to hurry up and put out a statement and say, man, even an apology would do you do you wonders just say hey we're sorry for our part in delaying this whole thing and, and making this whole thing has been a disaster we apologize for 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 that and we're ready to go we're putting out a 90 something an 80 something 100 something game season and here it is schedule is going to be coming out on tuesday we're rocking and rolling and it's time for baseball yeah, there may be some still some hoops to jump through. You can put in there. You know, we don't have we we can't guarantee it's going to happen. But we're going to do everything we can as far as the players. They're getting their prorated salary, and we're going to get as many games in as possible because that's what that original set, uh, that original agreement said. That in good faith, you guys were going to play as many games as possible, as many games as possible, not 50 effing games. Get it together, Major League Baseball. Starting to piss me off, and you know what pisses me off worse than anything is that I used to have a channel that I still run, I still have, and I talk movies and stuff. If you want to check out that channel, you can. But anyway, I talk about movies and did reviews and stuff, but Hollywood and movies were getting so terrible. It was so bad. I just felt like it was all negative. It was, this is bull crap. This sucks. This sucks. This sucks. And I was just talking sh crap. Okay, and I finally said, you know what? I'd rather talk about something I love that I can actually talk positive about. So I thought baseball's it. Baseball's not going anywhere. <laughs> How was I to know that this thing was about to happen and now there's this big labor dispute and now we don't have baseball and everyone's pissed off and it's bull****. I guess I'm just meant to be pissed off in life. Let me know guys what you think down below of this situation. Are we going to get this thing settled? Are we going to get this figured out? And who likes Rob Manford? If you do, let me know and let me know why. I'm not going to be mad at you because you're allowed to have an opinion and I'm not going to be mad at you for your opinion. If you love Rob Manford, that's fine. I just haven't met anyone yet. I just would love to honestly meet someone who says, yeah, I mean, I think Rob Manford's a great commissioner. Please let me know below because I'd love to get your thoughts. I like to be educated. Come on. Have a fantastic day. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that thumbs up button. Hit that share button. Hit every single button that you see on the screen right now. And I'm going to talk to you later. See ya. When the Giants come to town, it's bye-bye, baby. Every time the chips are down, it's bye-bye, baby. History's in the making.